Hello everybody, I'm Palkia 508 and welcome back to Let's Play Tales of Fantasia. Last time we were on a boat and... well, Arche got pretty drunk. <laughs> oh, speaking of Arche, um, something that I forgot to mention a long time ago is that Arche's Cyclone spell is not in the Super Famicom version. Yeah, I kind of forgot about that. Sorry. Anyway, today we will go to the Kingdom of Alvanista and see if the info we got from Mayor was correct. Anyway, see that crab down there? If you are looking for opening every and um, yeah, looking forward to open every chest in the game, that crab is gonna be your doom. That crab is legendary. He won't let you pass. No way. Good luck. In that chest there's a lavender, by the way, so uh, if you want to get it, go ahead and try. I won't even bother. And I'm gonna show you though. Oh yes, I am. <laughs> you have to get insanely lucky to the crab actually move all the way over here so you can pass him. Yeah, good luck with that. That won't happen for a while. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, this guy know what he's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> yup, that's pretty much the whole deal. Anyway, let's go to Alvanista. Ta-da, Kingdom of Alvanista. Hi. Thank you. Oh, well that's good, I guess. Well, okay, that's very nice of you. Oh, so you really want those sorcerers in case of a war, maybe? Hmm. Ah, oh, anyway. Our first stop. The item shop. Hi, do you have something new for me? And... Oh, you can actually buy rune bottles now, but they are expensive. So I won't. Yeah, rune bottles, I kind of forgot about that. Um... The question mark sword that I got last time from Mayor. It's a fame face. It's not stronger what I got now, but it's water elemental. And that is very good for uh, or that's pretty good for a later dungeon or or later dungeons in general actually. So uh, try to get that one. Hi. A story, okay. A horned white horse. North West of Valhalla Plains. Huh. Pure maidens, huh? Well, I guess remember that for next later. <laughs> anyway, this is the Adventurer's Guild that Mayor was talking about. Hey. Ugh. <laughs> oh, I know what you've been doing. I feel awful. Drank way too much. Yeah. Your own damn fault, dude. You, you're a swordsman? Yeah. Here. You want to buy this Ogi text? Ooh, sure. Always welcome. Uh, 6,000 gold in your- 6,000?! Seriously? That's half my money! Ah, sure, why not. And class learned Demonic Storm. I guess that's okay. Not the best move, I guess, but... Eh. Take what I can get, I guess. Thanks. What a salesman. <laughs> Yeah, everyone becomes a great salesman when they're drunk, right? Anyway, let's talk to some of the people here. Hey, babe. You want me to show you a cool place? Oh, God. <laughs> no, that's... That's correct. <laughs> but when when are they suddenly, sud they suddenly in a bar anyway? Dwarves may be gone, but the mine remains. Yeah, that's what I heard too. Hi. Oh my god, it's Sakuraba. I love you, man. Sakuraba is one of the composers of the music of this game. And he is awesome. Fantastic. It, uh, search him up. He got some fantastic music scores. Totally worth it. <laughs> well, that's pretty much how a lot of people feel, isn't it? By the way, can I interest you? Ooh, secret password. Sure. What's up the... Ah, oh, 
fine, I'll I'll take it. Yes, I'll take it. The You You're kidding, right? The password is password. Ugh. Hey, don't look at me. <laughs> oh god. Magic word open entrance to some cave. Yeah, actually he's not kidding. Uh you actually need that password for a later dungeon. Piano play class play No? Well, screw you. Uh do you have anything interesting to say? Yeah, I know. Oh that guy told me. <laughs> oh, well that's too bad. Hmm. Okay, thank for that info. Oh man, expensive? I don't like that. I don't like the sound of that. Uh, of course, but we are not really from around here, and now are we? Oh, well, that's everything we can do here, so let's go outside and look a little bit more around this town, shall we? There's the inn, I don't really care. Item shop. I mean, grocer. There's, of course, a chef here. Wonderful look. World of flavors. Sure, give me a recipe. Get cooking, and we Neapolitan. What is that anyway? Sounds nice, I guess. <laughs> anyway, is there anything else we can do here? Hi. Oh yeah, that's the guy who's possessed, isn't it? Good looks. Got no flaws. Yeah, except for he might be evil at the moment. Yeah. Gee, I wonder why. Hi. What are you two doing? Three, doing two. Yeah. Hmm. What are you doing? You calling out people of the sky. Are you high? People of the sky. Sky. Hi. Yeah. Damn, I'm good. People of the sky. Right. A race of divine beings, very diff very different from humanity, who lives in the sky. Okay. Gods, you mean? Not unlike gods. Okay. Yeah, close enough then. Here's the weapon and item. Uh, weapon and armor shop. But I'm. I don't think I'm gonna buy anything special there. Anyway, go and talk to this guy. Are you up for the challenge? If you can beat a fast runner in the city, you'll receive a fabulous prize. Will you compete? Uh, sure. Please do your best. Always. Sure, I'll give it my all. Okay, would you like to hear the explanations? Sure, why not? The rules are s of the race are simple. You and a mock boy will race to compete three laps around the city. That's all there is to it. Well, that's simple enough. If you want to quit partway through, just talk to me. Okay. Also, entering any house in the city disqualifies you. Okay. Would you see the course? Sure. Then I'll explain, expl explain the course. She'll be walking the course, so remember her path. Okay. We will now explain the course to you. Oh, that's the lady. First, know that this Eastern Plaza is both a start and a finish line. Okay. Be sure that you touch the line in the plaza each lap. Alrighty. Yeah, you can speed up this, so I'm gonna do that. At the start, follow the city's main street. Alrighty. Once the main street, main, once on the main street, head towards the central plaza, taking care to stick to the northern north pass, path. Okay, simple enough. It's around the whole city apparently. Run al along the main street until it head hits a dead end, at which point you should head north. All right. So far, so good. From there, follow the path to the south. Okay. Uh huh, no problem. When the street ends, head for the central plaza once again. This time, take the south pass. path in the central plaza. 
Okay, this looks simple enough, I guess. I can do this. No problem. From there, follow the main street back to the Eastern Plaza and the Gold Line. Okay. So, three laps around the whole city. If you left the course by even a little, you'll be disqualified. Oh, wow. When you reach the gold. Alright. No, I will not. Well then, all your marks. Okay, let's see if I can do this on first try. Okay, come on, mock boy, you're mine. Run, class, run! I like this music, by the way. Pretty nice. Come on! So far, so good. Come on. Stupid kid. Wow, my heart is actually racing now. <laughs> okay, I'm way ahead of him. This is not as difficult as I remember. I remember having big troubles with this thing, this race before. Oh. Yeah, we got this, come on. Da -da 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 -da. Wow, I crushed him! Congratulations, the victory goes to you! Time was 44 seconds and 60 something something. That's the course record! Sweet! And your best lap time was 1481. That's your fastest lap! Nice. Please choose your prize. What would you like? Yeah, the coral and the pelt are both very good. You can get every uh, reward three times. The coral and the pelt are, uh, I guess, trading items, which you can sell for a lot of money in uh, in uh, special towns. I will go over th those a little bit later. But, uh... Yeah, and number three here is a question mark sword. As you can see, it's a fame face. But if you beat Mayor, you already have that. So you don't need that. And number four, I have no idea why, but that's a long sword. Yeah, a long sword. Like your starting weapon. That is a pretty douche move. I'm gonna go with the coral. Thank you. I will also be off screening or off screen I will also be racing the mock boy again to get three corals and three pelts so I can get a lot of money. <laughs> In recognition of your fantastic victory over the mock boy, we hereby confer upon you the title of mock youth. Alright A class got a title of the mock of mock youth. This is a, of course a missable title so uh, but you have very long time you can get it though so uh, no rush really um, yeah you shouldn't have any problem getting this or the race can actually be kinda difficult I guess but uh, yeah no problem <laughs> I crushed you Anyway, let's see if they have anything new in the weapon and armor, sh armor shop. Welcome! We got all kinds of great weapons. Okay, nothing really new for class here. They do have a halberd though, which is very nice, but I already have one, got one for free, so haha! <laughs> Jamrod! They got a ruby one though, for mint, but I will not be buying it right now. Later? Yeah, I think so, but not now. Oh, that's all they got. Well, that's... lame. How about armor? Welcome! Got all kinds of great armor, yeah, yeah, yeah. Breastplate! Expensive, holy shit. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna buy anything right now. Do not buy a long blue ribbon, you will be finding one in a little while, so it's not worth it. I'm not gonna buy anything yet, I need to save my money for other stuff. But, oh, sorry. Uh, I'm a little uh, gassy right now. <laughs> Way of the dead, whoa! 
Okay, sure, I will remember that. Anyway. Hey! Hey, Elvin and Nancy. Right, uh. Have you. You already forgot how, who they are? You're horrible. Hey, Class. It's been a while. Yeah, not really. So you really eloped, right? Huh? Yeah. But we got no regrets. Oh, that's good. With her by my side, we'll make things work, no matter where we go. Ah, how sweet. However, we plan to stay here for a while. Okay. It's hard to move around given the state of fair in Midgar. Yeah, I can see that. Wait, state of fair in Midgar? Have we even? Oh yeah, right. The almost war thing. Yeah. Okay, sure. I won't. Or will I? Hi, <laughs> do you have something new for me? You can buy thief mantles. They are expensive. Ouch. Why do I still sell pickaxe and ropes? I don't know. Perilous check. Poison check. Guess what they do? Huh. Yeah, but charm that prevents paralysis and poisoning. Blah blah blah. Why is the paralysis one so much more expensive? Nah, whatever. They sell fight symbols. Sweet. All symbols. Mystic symbols! Yeah, a symbol that reduces spell casting time by half. Every mage should have this one, but look at that, that price tag. It's horrible. <laughs> Silver, Silver Shawl. Uh, these are very good, actually. Uh, I will actually be buying some of these later. Uh, if you have the money now, you buy two of them and use rune bottles on them. Fire based or nullify fire based attacks 30% of the time. If you use a rune bottle, they will um, turn into princess shawls instead, which will nullify fire based attacks 50% of the time, which is awesome. Since spoiler, we will be going to a fire dungeon. Sometimes, so yeah. Anyway, though, anything interesting here? Eh, not really. Um. So yeah, uh, I think actually I'm just gonna call that this an episode. I'm sorry I didn't really get to do much, but next time we will actually sneak into the castle and hopefully save the prince. So. This should be pretty cool. <laughs> I'm Palkia Fanoite, I thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all later.